So Sapphire Control LE can be used to create two independent mixes of both playback tracks and inputs, uh, one for the monitors and one for the headphones. So if I'm carrying out a recording session, uh, recording a vocalist, then the engineer can have one mix on his speakers, on his main monitors, and the vocalist can have a different mix in the cans. So supposing my vocalist is plugged into input one here, and I've got my decks in my studio permanently wired into inputs three and four in the back here, and I want to do maybe a bit of scratching during the session. So in Sapphire Control, um, the engineer wants all of the vocalist and also all of the decks. But the vocalist on the headphones down here only wants, well, mainly himself, with slightly less of the decks which are plugged into inputs three and four. Um, so if I want to turn down the level of the decks in his headphones, then I just first of all press the stereo link switch down here, which uh, links these two faders and also sets the pop pans down here to left and right and then I can bring down the level of the decks in the headphones. So now it's pretty much all um, the vocalist. Similarly with the pre-recorded tracks, the playback tracks uh, coming from the sequencer, um, the engineer wants full levels of all, but uh, the artist, the vocalist, being somewhat fussier than that, wants specific levels of each in the headphones. So going over to my Ableton session, I've assigned both of my drums tracks to Sapphire Lee Outs 1 and 2, uh, my bass parts are both assigned to 3 and 4, and the synth riff here is assigned to 5 and 6. So in Sapphire Control LE, the drum parts will be controlled by these faders here, the bass by these faders here, and then the synth part on these faders here. This being the level of all three in the monitors, and this down here being in the headphones. So I've actually attached the monitors temporarily to outputs 3 and 4 here, which is the headphones mix, just so you can hear what's going on in the headphones. So I'll use these faders in the bottom of Sapphire Control LE to first of all cut the bass part out and then reduce the drums a little bit. So there I created a groove in the headphones that had just the right balance of tracks that the vocalist wanted. Um, mostly the synth part, no bass and just a little bit of drums. So now that I've created my playback mix and my inputs mix for the headphones, I use this slider in the center here to balance between inputs and playback tracks. So supposing my vocalist wants um, mostly himself um, with a reasonable amount of backing tracks but mainly inputs, then I just set this slider just slightly off center, just slightly towards the inputs. Then you'll have more inputs than playback tracks. Now remember at all times that you actually have two level controls for both of these sets of outputs. Um, you have the level control for the monitors here and for the headphones here. And then similarly on the hardware, you have the monitor level control here and headphones level control there. So if you're failing to hear a signal at any point, then make sure you check both.